We were talking about the statistics of the UN of one billion women in their lifetime faced violence. Then Eve came with the idea of one billion people to rise and dance. I wasn't sure whether we would be able to implement it and do it in Sudan because of the situation that we live in, lack of freedom, the attack that civil society faces. To be honest, I, I, I had my doubts. When I came back from Nairobi and we introduced the idea to the civil society organizations and to the youth groups, uh, and they started preparation for the event, I saw a lot of excitement and, and courage and energy from the young people. I started to change my mind. From that time, I, I, I knew it's going to be a big success. Two, three, go. The way it has been taken, the way the energy is transferred and traveled from Salma to different places for the rehearsal, and the involvement, even if the people whom we ask to teach the dance, the people who were asked to be part of this in different levels, organizing it, they just took the idea and they made it their way. And I think that was the energy that we never, I never, I personally never expected. I mean, we've always been working to end violence against women, but the nature of, of, of the work is always with, with sadness. So for me, this is a very much creative, innovative way of dealing with uh, issues uh, of violence against women. And when we went to for the final rehearsal at Ahfar, I think I was shocked to see that whole huge court full of young women and they all know how to dance break the chain. Violence against women, it's one of the biggest challenges facing not only the women's movement but every single woman who is living in daily life, being out of homes, working, or even living at homes with different kind of domestic violence that occurs, not necessarily beating but could be psychological, it could be a lot of hindrance of cultural violence, social violence, a lot of kind. I mean, we, we, as being part of doing a lot of activist work and trying to really work with young people to really help 
mobilizing them to better understand how to live a better equal opportunities with young women and how could they really respect each other and that is happening in a very small scale as, as, as much as we can but we are faced with a legal system that is really discriminative we are faced with outside space that is also not friendly for women our mobility is restricted our participation at public spaces is not that easy you think twice before you walk out of the house what to wear you walk out you think that you'll be harassed in the public transportation or because of wearing trousers so these women are lashed because of their dress code if their flats not recognized as what's quote unquote called the sharia dress or the islamic dress the article 152 in the criminal code linked to the public order law of 1996 are used to humiliate and really take the dignity of Sudanese women. Your heart bleeds because when you see the humiliation that happens when women are lashed because they don't have the right to choose what they were, it is absolutely not acceptable. Stoning remains also as a threat in the head of the women. It's not yet implemented, but it's still a problem as far as it's still part of the legal system. The age of marriage is still 10 years according to the personal law. So what to take and what to talk about, it's a lot. But we hope that we at least make our voices always loud to minimize whatever is happening. So I really feel that we really need to take one billion rising into a step forward, into not only dance, dance and rise and really say no to accept whatever is happening. What we did, One Billion Rising, is a voice that women really shared from different parts of Sudan that represented them to really dance, not only to enjoy the dance, but to end violence was, as it was part of their heart when they were dancing. They really wanted to live in an environment where they can really cherish their humanity, to cherish and enjoy their right as human beings. And, and we, they have done quite a great support, trusting us as women, working with us as women who are facing problems like what we are talking about now. I think it's amazing. And we will continue. Be hopeful and able to think positively to change and create a better environment for women one day. سمعتها بالايفنت وجيت اشارك فيه عشان عشان اي مره ضعيفه معنفه عشان اي بيت بتتشاغل في المواصلات عشان اي بيت بتتعرض لاي نوع من انواع التحرش وبتسكت على الحاجه دي عشان المجتمع وريها انه نحن صوتنا ممكن يطلع انه صوتنا ممكن يكون صوت عالي وصوت مسموع وتخلينه الضانس هي وسيله جميله وكلنا بنحبها فاذا كان هي دي الوسيله اللي حتعلي صوتنا انا لازم اكون بارت من الحاجه دي. ما عباره عن انه نحن ناس دارنا نجي نرقص بس انا شايفه انه حاجه كنوع من الامباورمنت كنوع من التضامن بينه وبين النساء ان انا اوريكم انه انا معاكم وانا حاسس بيكم وانا شايف الحاجه بتحصل لكم دي حاجه غلط I took part of this because I believe in this in this case in this issue in this matter and and using your body to dance is one of the most powerful tools to send your message out, right? احنا في السودان دائما الراجل هو المستغل، يعني كلامه هو اللي بيمشي، يعني هو راس بتاعة الحوض، لكن يعني المرأة برضه عندها صوت ممكن تقول الحق وممكن تقول كيف، عشان كده احنا الليلة بنرقص عشان دايرين نوقف الاتحادات اللي بتحصل للمرأة. كان يوم خرافي شديد جدا مع انه كان في مكان مقفول. آه بس أنا حسيت إنه نحن كنا طافين في العالم كله حسيت إنه نحن طايرين فوق 
لكن انا شايف انه وجود الرجل مدافعا للمراه ومناصرا لحقوقها بتخلي بتخلي المجتمع يتغير التغير ما بيجي بين يوم وليله بيجي مننا نحن ذاته I'm one of those who did rise on the 14th uh, and actually it was an amazing day for me. Women need to be supported and therefore 14th of February was a day to come together in solidarity all over the world and let actually the world know the reality that violence is, is exist and is still going on against women and voicing out their concerns to end violence against women. تزوجت فقيرة من زواج القاصرات. فترك فيني سلبيات كثيرة. فبتمنى إنه يكون في قانون حمينا لأنه عندنا حق في الحياة إنه نحن نعيش. ما يحصل لي زول تاني زي ما حصل لي أنا. المرأة هي ما نص المجتمع زي ما إنه بقوله المرأة هي المجتمع كامل فإنه إذا كان في مشكلة في المجتمع فأكيد حيكون في مشكلة في العالم كله so we pray just pray to Allah إنه يحفظ كل نساء العالم أنا المفهوم ذاته هو بقى يعني مرتبط بإنه العنف ضد المرأة هو فعل طبيعي يعني ومقبول في كثير من المجتمعات وكل النساء اللي حضروا كنا بنحتفل بمعرفتنا وبعمق إحساسنا بقضية العنف عشان الناس تشتغل بحماس أكبر يعني حنعترض وحنرقص وحناشد لوقف العنف ضد المرأة